ルート。うっ。これ。小屋の中は、本当に、本で、いっぽい、いっぽい、いっぽい、いっぱい、だった、だった。So, first off, we have Jacku, Jacku, and then we the verb is Hayagatte. What does Hayagatte mean? I think, I mean, is it like Hayagatte? So, like, enter? Basically. So, the high part kind of means like the crawl in something. So, Kind of insinuating he didn't get in, I think, super gracefully compared to his sister, maybe, is why they use that word.、Mm. So to crawl, in, kind of. Yeah, I don't know what my list is. Hayagaru. So he, where did he Hayagaru into? Three house. So in the tree house. Or- How long did it take? Yuyaku. Yoyaku. 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 I don't think that's time. Is that like. It, it is. Shibaraku, a... kind of? Yes. Yoyaku and Shibaraku are kind of like the same word, but like、uh, Shibaraku is something you might tell somebody, while Yoyaku is just. A descriptive word that makes sense. So, this means like he finally crawls into the treehouse. <laughs>、mm. Finally. So, finally, yeah. Yeah. So, it kind of s e n d you, it took him quite a bit longer than his sister who went zuri and slipped right in like a all smoothly and such. um So, let's see. What did he see? Oya no naka. So, inside of the house. Which is the tree house. Yep. Honto、uh, ni. So he really did. Honto.、Mm-hmm. Uh, hon. So a book.、Yes. Ippai. So a lot of books inside of that tree house. Exactly. But what does, what is the honto ni modifying? Is it modifying the ippai or is it modifying the miru? It is modifying the. I want to say Ipai, but I guess it's Miru. It is the Ipai. He say, he's, he's saying the books were really here. So rather than he、mm. actually took a look, there really were books.、Um, I, it's because this toll right here is separating two different clauses. So this right here is separate, and it's, 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 it's like its own sentence. So this right here can't really be connected to it totally. They can have similar subjects and stuff, but、um, they, they can't overlap really. So, something in here cannot modify something over there. And similarly, something in here can't really modify over there. That's what the tot is doing. It's kind of making、yeah. a separate house for them. So, because of that, it has to be modifying the i p a i d a t a There is a lot. There really was a lot of books. Is what he noticed once he took a peek into the small、Tree、house. Nice.、Um, what is hokori, do you think? Hokori. Not that old. Hokori. I don't know what it means off the top of my head, but seeing as a picture, I'm guessing it's like sweeping or like cleaning. It is actually、yeah. dust. I just thought this was a good picture. Ah,、uh, dust. dust. Hokori, dust. Now I have two words right here. Uh, what do they mean? Chikai and toy. Toy. Chikai, I know it's close. And toy、yep. is definitely the opposite so、yep. far. So far. That's, that's what、Hi. that is. Perfect. Just double checking. What does hokori mean? It means dust. Yes. Okay. So here's our new grammar point, which is mo areba. And it means if, but in a there was kind of way. <laughs> For example,、uh, in Japanese, like their ifs are a lot of times more like statements.、Uh, can you read、um, this sentence right up here? Akai mono, moareba, shiroi no, 
Mare. Yes. So this means things that are, if they are red things, then there was also white things. Um, so for example, I found this bouquet of roses that had white and <laughs> red roses. So hmm. this can be used to make a factual kind of statement of saying, well, you could say there were old books here, but there were also um, new books is kind of like my um, example sentence I'm going to want you to make. So basically there were old books and there were new books and you're using mo areba to create that sentence. And we have aru, furui, atarashi, and hon. So how would you do that? There were old books and there were new books. Okay. Um, <laughs> furui, doesn't furui mean ancient? Yes. And atarashi mm -hmm. means new. New. So, furui is so, old. Furui no hon, I guess is how you would start it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, furui no hon, uh, mo areba, mo areba, atarashi no hon. I I think that's it. It actually gets one more verb, which right here was mo aru. Ah, yes, the mo aru. Yes. So there's one little mistake you made, which is right over here. This is not a noun, furui. What is it? It's an adjective. It is an adjective. So that means no is not used here. What kind of adjective is it? It's an e adjective. Yes. So all you had to do was say, Furui hon mo areba, atarashi. That's the same thing you did over here. Atarashi is also an E adjective. Atarashi hon mo aru. What if, hypothetically, this was a na adjective? What would you do then? So, like, Furui na. Yep. Uh, 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 furu na. <laughs> the E would be. Furuna. Furuna. Oh, yeah. Furuna. So that's how you know the difference between those. Nice. But yeah, that's basically what it is. So mo areba is basically if in a there was kind of way. <laughs> and then it also had the, the most important part here is the mo. So if there was mm -hmm. this, then this as well for that part. Uh, boop. So here is your new sentence to read. Uh, uh, so <clears> hokori <throat> o kabutta, kabutta? Kabutta furui bon furui hon areba poka poka no atashi 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 hon. Right, it be atara. I didn't have atarashi. Right, that furigana is wrong. Atarashi. Atarashi hon maru. Nice. So, what is this katakana character? It is po. It's not po. Po. It's pe. It's not pe. Pe would look like this. And po. Wait, what? Po. Like this. It is pi. Yep. Ah, okay. B. Yeah. Get you. No pi. <laughs> so pika pika. Um, so right here we have hokori. Do you know what that word meant? Hokori means dust. Yes. And it's doing kabuta. Uh, for example, humans kabuta hats. What do you think kabuta means? Kabuta. To put on? Yes. It means to be put on. So dust is on top of furui hon. What does that mean? Home. So dust is on top of ancient or old books. Yes. So if we were translating this, we would probably use the word covered. Dust covered the ancient books. Oh, covered. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have mo areba pika pika no atarashi hon mo aru. So pika pika is a automatic pure word to mean sparkling. Pika pika or uh, in this case, clean, I guess. Like a clean floor mm. sparkles and a pika pika. So brand new hon. Atarashi hon mo pika pika suru. 
So all together, what does this Pika. say? So basically, even if there is dust covered on books, mm. uh, sparkling, no, atarashi. there are also new books that are sparkling and clean. Exactly. Perfect. Yes. And I wonder if they gave like sparkling became sparks. So Pikachu goes Pika Pika. <laughs> what if that's the link? Uh, here is a refresher. The sentence says, Oni-chan, chotto kitte. What does this kitte mean? Chotto kitte. Chotto kitte. Kitte kitte. Chotto kitte. I'm guessing this is a different kitte. Oni-chan, chotto kitte. So, big brother, please listen or listen a bit. So, listen is kitte. Oh, kitte. Oh, kitte is short. Kitte. Which is the same, which um, if you want the dictionary form would be kuru. To come? Yes. So mm. what is the kite meaning here? Toto kite. Oni-chan, toto kite. Kite Big brother. Uh, come after a bit or come Basically, now. Yes. It's just come here a little bit. Just, just come. Come for a short period of time, basically. Um, exactly. So this kite right here is an order. Um, the little sister is telling her brother to do something. So, for example, if you want this to be just slightly more polite, you'd say, kite kudasai. The kudasai, of course, is please. please um, yeah. So we needed the te form to go with please. That's how we added it, please, to the sentence. But because she doesn't want to use please, she just deleted the kudasai. So just kite. Kite, kite, chotto kite. And here is another refresher. Um, it says, um, Sore wa Jack no atama no haruka ue, eda ga futatsu ni wakarete iru tokoro made tuzuite iru. What do you think made means in that sentence? Made means to climb. It does not mean to climb. So this sentence right here says that is, um, this is referring to a nawabashi goal. So that is um, far above Jack's head. Uh, hmm. It this this uh, nawabashi go continues up until the place where the branches have split into two. <laughs> Is what that says. So made means until. Made until. So that is like the end the end line of something. Um, so now you have. This sentence, well, two sentences to sit and read. Ah, uh, hora mite, ah, uh, an nani, an nani? Yep. Ah, uh, ah, nani. Ah, uh, doa kumade kanji miru? Yes, miru. Nice. Good mm. job. Got that kanji. <laughs> miru no yo. So, an nani is that like son nani, an nani. It's a way mm. to underline whatever comes afterwards. So toku is now bolded and underlined. <laughs> this is how I'm explaining that. <laughs> so it's very impressive. It's like super toku. Very far away. Exactly. Um, what, the, what about the horamite? What does that mean? Horamite, mite, mite. Like, hey, look. Exactly. Hey, look that uh, far away so to the extent of that that far away you can miru you can see exactly you have the ability to see very far away very far what do you think this no is doing we saw it a while ago in nda form <laughs> uh, nda. <laughs> nanda uh, kyo, it was probably like yoku ryu to you kyo ryu. Uh, 
あ恐,恐竜がある、あいたんだ。いたんだ。It's probably what it says. Does it make it? Hmm. Does it make it rhetorical? Uh, it could make it rhetorical. Sometimes it does that. In this case, I think it's the new discovery no. So、mm. uh, she's like, wow, you can, I, you can now see this. That would be my,、uh, or it could be the explanation to, the explaining why he should look. <laughs> so it, it could be any of those. It's probably not rhetorical to, just based off of context. But there's no grammatical way to tell the difference between those. There, it's all just context. The same kind of, yeah. yeah. But yeah, good job remembering that, t o I mean, that no. <laughs> Hi. And this yo is, is, is like, yeah, no. You know, she's like, so she's just making this into a very like, aggressive statement. You could see really far away, you know. Hi. So here's a word you tend to have problems with. What is yubisasu? Yubisasu. It is to point. Exactly. Nice. Do you know what a yubi is? Yubi is. It's not evening. It's not、nice、evening. What, what do you use to point? That's not、a、your hand.、Tongue. So, not your hand, because hand is te. What else do you use to point? What else is important? Your fingers. Exactly. So, yubi means finger.、Um, I think yubi wa means ring. Yubi wa. I believe that. Yubi o wa. So, you wear a ring on your finger. Yubi wa. So, yubi sasu, the point. Uh, what is the te form of yubi sasu? My hint is that it's irregular. Yubi sashite? Yeah, perfect. Yep, yubi. Oh, wait, yubi sashite. Yubi sasu. Yes.、Uh, right over here, I wrote this wrong for you. It says yubi su. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't know. You be sass. I should have said that. It should be a s a s I was like, you're right. That's what's missing. Good job not noticing that, but saying the <laughs> word right. <laughs> That's what happens when you know the words. It just like it blends together.、Uh, what、yeah. is a model? What is model is window. Yes. Now I have naka and soto. These are opposite. Naka. Yeah, inside and outside. Exactly. So, soto is outside. Outside. And let's read our first sentence. Ani ga mado no soto yubu sashite. You're right. There's a boo right there. Wait. <laughs> B and boo are right now. Yubi sashite. Hi. Yubi sashita. What does that mean? So, Ani Mado no Sato Yubi Sashita. So, Ani pointed outside of the window. Perfect. And how about the second line? Jack, Jack, Mo, Madora, Madokara, Soto, O, Nakamita. Nagameta. So, Nagameta. Nagameta. Has to do with your eye. I just saw to show you. This is the kanji that it normally has, the one above here. And it means to like have, it like means to look at like a view. So not just like a looking, it's like, wow, is like enveloped in it. <laughs> it's like, like、wow. having a viewing. <laughs> so what does it mean? Soto nagameta. Soto nagameta. So he was like impressed by outside. Or the outside view. He, yeah, but like it, it's like it's, if you were translating, you said like he, he like took a look at the view. It's just like, naga, the, I'm just letting you know that's how that's different from like me do. Is that、mm. he's doing like a, he's taking in the view. <laughs> but you would probably translate it the same, but that was more for a, as like a, if you're making sentences on your own, perhaps in the future. The, the、yeah. uh, this is more looking at the view versus. Looking at somebody.、Um, you, you, if you said you nagamata at a human, you would be really staring at them. It'd be very. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, how did he look at the view? Matokara. Matokara.、Mm. Matokara. Is this all one word? 
think it is. Uh, no, mado is a word and kara mm. is the opposite of made. But let's look at mado. Do you remember? I saw mado not that long ago. Yeah, mado is window. It is window. So window kara, soto o nagameta. So he viewed outside blank window. What do you think goes over there? He viewed outside. Doesn't kara mean because? It, it can mean. Like... So kara can mean because. That is true. Um, it only means because when it's connecting sentences or hmm. clauses. This is just a noun. It, it's not a big enough clause for kara to mean because. Uh, um, so that that is a good point. This kara actually means from. So mado kara hmm. means from the window. Um, if it was jakumo mado kara soto nagameru kara, if the kara was over here, it would definitely mean because, because it's a um, it's kind of like a set when it's connecting sentences. Yeah, that's that's hmm. one of those similar looking friends that are actually enemies. Uh -huh. Hi. So Jack also looked outside from the window. The nice view. Hi. So this right here theoretically is a refresher, but do you, so, but I, I feel like you had issues with this last time. Can you read this sentence right over here? Ichigo, Ichigo yori, uh, ringo, oh, ringo, ringo? Mm -hmm. Yep, ringo. Uh, ringo. No boga uki. Yes, what does that mean? Ichigo yori, ringo no hoga oki. So the strawberry is smaller than, or rather, it's like not bigger than the yes. apple. Perfect. That's translating it super Japanese. So that is great. <laughs> The American way of saying it, which is why it's this is like really hard to wrap our hands around, is like the opposite. We would say the apple is bigger than the Ringo, and it like it hurts our brain because <laughs> it's <is laughs> yeah, the opposite. It is saying exactly how you translated a second ago, which was the <laughs> the strawberry is not as big as the apple, but it's it sounds horrible to say that. So, what is yori being attached to? Uh, the strawberry. Yes. So the one that is less than whatever thingy they're talking about. How about whole? What is that being attached to? <laughs> whole is attaching the ringo. Yes. To what kind of information is it giving it? It's telling us that it is more than, or like yes. in this case, more bigger than. Exactly. Perfect. So now I want you to say, this tree is bigger than an evergreen tree. Your vocab words are ki, kashi, and oki. Hmm. And I can give you so, for this in case. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say kore, but I guess kono as well. Um, so like, kore means this, but you can't connect something to it. Um, the, the reason for it is that we have kono. So no is a connector, mm. <laughs> kind of like how koko means here. So that's it's just the the ko is all part of the same tree. So if you're saying this is bigger than an evergreen tree, so if you took out tree, then you would use kore. Mm. So those are actually friends. <laughs> so uh -oh. kono. How do you say evergreen tree? I could just say ki, but I don't know if that's right. Kashi is an evergreen tree. Mm. Kashi. So, kono kashi is bigger than. So, kono kashi ho ga uki. Yeah, nice. This is, this is great. Yep, this evergreen tree is bigger. That's a great way of doing it. Good job. This is nice and short. In Japanese, though, they're not very likely to just have hoga. They love yori. Yori is the more Japanese mm. one to use. So hoga is almost only used as like to explain it. 
<laughs> if they have to use it. Explain the yori. Yeah, like they they hate using holga. They're like, I hate this word. They they will use it in like an emergency, <laughs> kind of. Like it's it's crazy how much more you see yori. So how would you say this with the yori then? You could say, uh, what was evergreen tree again? Uh, kashi. Kashi. All right, so kono ki yori uh, kashi no hoga 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 yep. hoga oki. Perfect. And if you want to do what you did before, you could say kono ki yori oki. That would be the shortened thing you did before, but it sounds a little bit more Japanesey. They just deleted mm. the whole the evergreen tree part. So this is bigger than this tree. So yeah, super interesting. So now I'm letting you learn yo, which can mean as if, or it seems. For example, can you read this little phrase up here on the top? Do you know what a ayakashi is? Ayakashi. No, that's a new Ayakashi one. Ayakashi is like a yokai, which is a kind of Japanese spirit. Do you know what an okami mm. is? An okami. Okami. A big god? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, so okami does not have to do with kami like god. It actually means wolf. Mm. So okami no yona o ayakashi means a large spirit that looks like a wolf. So, for example, this is a pretty common... There's like a video game with this wolf in it. His name is called Okami. So his name is Wolf. <laughs> nice name. I don't know. I, I don't, haven't played this game in a long time. But yeah, he was a oh, This is just an example. It's a pretty common, I think, dog wolf in Japanese stuff. Um, now I have another sentence for you to read, which is more relevant. This guy. Uh, what does daremo mean? Daremo, somebody. Close, yes. Oh, that's dareka. Oh, no, somebody. Yes, someone what is dareka. Sunday night. What does that mean? Sunday night. Sunday night. From sumu. Sumu is dwelling, right? Yes. How about the night part? What is that doing? So it means no, so no one's here or exactly. no dwelling. No dwellings over there. Yoda. What is that adding? Uh, from what you can see, or I guess exactly. as if. Perfect. You're making an educated guess. Because look at that house. <laughs> but it is theoretically possible. So now with that, I want you to make this sentence, which is this tree seems to be taller than an evergreen tree. You can drop mm. something you want, but I want this concept to be in there with the yoda. The yoda. Hey. This tree seems to be taller than an evergreen tree. So, uh -uh. kan? Kashi. 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 Kashi ho ga. Kashi ho ga. Ki no. Ki no yori. Ki no yori. Ah, takai. Yoda. Super close. Can you read the English sentence one more time? This tree so, seems to be taller than an evergreen tree. And you wrote this tree. No hoga, kino yori. Kashi no hoga. Hmm. Does something seem a little off? Kashi no hoga. Kashi means evergreen. So you have evergreen attached to. No hoga. 
uh, seems to be, oh, I've split. So in this case, I'll just replace kashi with uh, ki. Yes. Ki no ho ga. And right here would be the kashi. And this no is not there with yori. So ki no ho ga kashi yori takai yo da. So this tree is bigger than a kashi tree. And if you want to delete something, ki no ho ga. We don't need that. So kashi yori takai yo da. So this Same tree thing. is yeah. bigger than a kashi tree. Nice. And now you have your sentence to read. Ah, kono katsu no ki wa mori no dono kyo kyo ri mo dakai yo da. Nice. So we have kono kashi no ki wa. They've dropped off something here. And then mori no dono ki yo ri mo dakai yo da. Hmm. Hmm. Kono kashi no ki. So that tree, that tree is tree. Okay. <laughs> that tree is an evergreen tree. Hmm. What what is it? That evergreen tree. Eh, mori no, mori no, dono kyo or ki yori. So the tree is. Takai is smaller than an evergreen tree. Basically, yes. That is basically what it's saying. So the the parts that um you messed up with was kono. That was a new word. Do you know what kono means? Uh it means that, right? Yes. So this evergreen tree is uh the bit seems to be taller then um as you said before the trees now we have mori no dono ki uh what does mori mean mori means uh forest so what do you think the dono part is doing to ki dono to that ki it mm. is saying that trees uh inside of the forest or part yes. of the forest so it's basically saying any tree inside of the forest Mori no dono ki yori. So basically every single tree in the forest, if you were to compare it to this specific kashi tree, the specific evergreen tree, it would be smaller. Hmm. <laughs> they would be less tall than this kashi than tree. As you can see right here, they have yori, but they dropped off the nohoga. And this is very common in Japanese. They, they're like, you know what I'm talking about? The subject gets the hoga, the bigger than normally. So they add the yori to whatever's not the subject. Mm. So in that way, it kind of makes sense, but it still like hurts our brain because we want to say big yeah. and not, uh, yes, this tree is compared to other trees that are less. <laughs> less bigger. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, hi. Um, now, um, what is mado? Mado is a window. Yes. Do you know what kara meant? It means uh, when it's either down. because it's or... not because because it's before a noun and not a sentence. In that case, how was it? It's the opposite of made. Oh, if you vaguely remember made. So until and. So made means until. So what's the opposite of until? Until something happens. What's, what's the opposite, opposite of until? Oh. Hi. So as I read an example, um, we have um, uh, kara to ten made. This is a phrase such as my class. For me, it's uh, uh, Q kara ju made. Okorimasu occurs that's probably the wrong okoru. so it, it occurs until 10 p.m and from nine so kara means from so that's mm. also the way. so from nine until 10 so the opposite of, of until is basically the starting point 
So wherever something starts from the from, now you can read <clears throat> the sentence. <laughs> tree house no mado kara wa ano fuko tsuku oh frog creek I think yeah frog creek no machi ga zenbu miwatasiru. Yeah, so we have miwatasiru. This is extremely similar to miru, but they've added extra meaning to it. What would you guess is the extra meaning they've added to it? So like, huh? Hmm. He is from the mado. He earlier we were told he's looking out from he's he's sir he's looking at the view and he's found out that frog creek no machi ga zenbu miwi miwatasseru uh do you know what zenbu means i should double check that. definitely close that's zettai and they are definitely related so zettai oh they are definitely not what <laughs> they are not related uh. Uh, like, I thought it was going to be like zetai <laughs> kanju. Um, but meaning wise, they are extremely similar. So, um, everything? Guessing. Yes. Zenbu is it. everything. It's every part of something. Mm. So, every part he mirus. He sees every part. So, what do you think? He sees everything how that like when can you not use this miru knowing that this means everything <laughs> so i'm guessing miru is for one thing and miwatasu is like basically it has the meaning of like surveying something i guess so it can it mm. it, it allows you to see the whole town so it's not like necessarily he's seeing the whole town in his eyes not right now but it's uh the sedu part uh is letting you know that this is like allowing someone to do something basically while the the other parts of this the wataru basically is the surveying it so that's why i did this picture as you're able to see the whole town you might be specifically looking here or specifically looking there be like oh look books but the theoretical ability to see everything is existing so we can pretend frog creek is a huge ass city <laughs> <laughs> You're looking out up from the space needle or something. Hi. Uh, nice. You did that perfect. Because it's not anything really gone. It's from the window. He's looking out. Okay. And now I got this guy. Toku ni chi jiki. Well, so that's actually Chi is Saki like made. very similar. I always split the two. Well, yeah. Uh, saki made or Saki made ita. Toshi, Toshi o kan ga miite or miita. Nice. Uh, kakko, kakko mo. Yep, gakko. Hmm, gakko mo. Uh, coin mo miiru. Nice. So, do you remember what made meant? That was our new word. Made is until. Yes. So until saki. So saki is a time phrase that kind of means like a second ago when it's, when it's with made. So saki made. So until a second ago, which um, in this context, it's not really a second ago. It's probably like been 10, 20 minutes since um, oh, wow. <laughs> they were itad at the Toshokan. Uh, what's a Toshokan? Toshokan. Toshokan, a library. Yes. And they itad. What does ita mean? Ita. ita. So, uh, ita. Ita. To go to or to say. So that means to do. So ita means to exist. So they were oh, at yeah. the library. So um, just a second ago, they were at a library um so just so the library they were at just a sec ago they are able to meet 
What do you think Mieta means? How is that different from Miru? Mieta, so they have, or so Miru is like to see and yep. Mieta is to have seen. So Mieta is, it is past tense, but the E part actually means that they have the ability to see. So they had the ability to see the library they were at not that long ago. And that library is Tokuni. What does that mean? Tokuni. So it's very, mm -hmm. Toku is like far. Yeah. So it's just very far. Very far. Which is why I said Saki is kind of a funny word to use right here. Because they, they weren't there really a second ago. They were there probably 10, 20 minutes, walked down the road. Then, then they came over there. But it was kind of like the last destination they were at. So that's why I think they're using Saki. So it's because it was the last thing they were doing basically was at the library. Then after that, they're at Kairimichi. And then now they're in the new location between the two. Huh. Um, so then we have Koen mo, sorry, gak, gakko mo, uh, gak, gakko mo, koen mo, mieru. So now we have the present tense and that same edu, edu, mieru. Hmm. What does this mean? Gakko, so like kindergarten. Close. Gakko is more of the general school. You're thinking about a, uh, uh, like, so gakki, kind of, but is, yeah. Uh, kindergarten. <laughs> Uh, well, like, koko would be high school. So, gakko is just general school, but it does definitely insinuate this area of school. So, not that. Like, how about koen? Koen. Koen. Sounds pretty new. Koen. Uh, koen. I definitely haven't taught you before, but... It's something that's normally taught in like Genki one. So I would have guessed it probably showed up in your uh, frequency list. I actually finished the N5 deck. So yeah. yay. So, so I feel like this probably would have showed up in it because it's such a common word, but like, not that I see it a lot and stuff I read, like I, I don't, but it means park, colon. It's just a park. Um, park. Hmm. Like uh, grass and kids play there. Koen. Um, the end part means garden and ko means public. So public garden. Like um, for example, I was gonna hmm, I was like, what is the word for garden? Haku. I don't remember the word for garden, but the word for garden has in it. Or if they talk about their garden of their house, they'll have that kanji right there. Mm. So, public garden is a park. So yeah, he's able to see. Oh wait, did you say miru? What does that mean? Miru. Miru. So it's to see, but it's like to survey. So that's actually mi wataseru. Mi, mi wataseru. That would be to survey. Miru doesn't really have that meaning, but the seru part of mi wataseru is actually the same as the e eh, do, like the, <clears throat> the embedded meaning in that part. Um, as you can see, they both have an s eh sound. Uh, that might may or may not be random. Uh, do, why do. Huh. <laughs> they both have an s eh sound before the do. And this is um, passive form, I think. Vocab words. So it's called passive. And it's used for passive sentences. So whether or not Jack is currently looking at these two things, we don't know. He definitely looked at the library at some point because uh, it's in past tense form. Uh, hmm. But these two, we don't actually know if he looked at it. But they have the ability to look at it if they wanted to. So uh, edu means it's possible to do something. So over here is they were able to see the library that they were at just a second ago. They could also probably, they also had the ability to see the school and the park, the public park. So it's the ability to see rather than necessarily actually seeing. Whoa, Ooh. okay. Let's have you read this. 
。ああ、私たちのうちも見えるわ。あほら、ほら、あそこ。あ、本当に。Or, 本当だ you remember what うち means? You might have learned it as y e a h Sounds like くち。It does sound like くち。Has nothing to do with くち。But this would have definitely been in your deck. It does sound familiar. Ie and Uchi. Ie and Uchi.、Uh, is it like. No, that's Machi. Machi、uchi. is city. Ie、hmm. Uchi. It has a. Someone's Uchi theoretically could be a Koya. <laughs> Koya. Koya. So. Their lips? Kind of a guess. Koya means small house.、Um, so, ie and uchi can mean house.、Um, ie can only mean house, while uchi has lots of meanings.、Uh, it can mean like home, kind of.、Hmm. So, sometimes people will be like,、uh, not sometimes, this is very common. Rather than saying my dog, for example, they'd say like uchi no inu. They'd use uchi to say our house's dog. So, uchi, uchi doesn't just have to mean、mm. like the building. It also can mean like the family. And it can also be used in time, which is weird.、Uh, but this is not time. So, we will put time somewhere far away. You can ignore it for now. <laughs> but yeah, right here is just trusting. So, watas tachi no uchi mo mieru. What does that mean? Watas tachi no uchi mo mieru. So we can see our house. Exactly.、Right、place. Wa right here is basically just saying whoever's talking right now is female. Oh, that's new. <laughs> so, so we now know that who is talking right here is Annie, in case we didn't know before.、Uh, that, that's why that there just means female. <laughs>、uh, there's like a little bit, it's like a little bit similar, I think, to like yo, but like not nearly as aggressive. So it's like, oh, cool, you, you can totally see my house, your house, you know? But like, no, but yo is a lot more. It's like screaming, kind of, but not really.、Yeah. Exactly. So wa is more just like a gentle nudge, but extreme, I am female. If a man uses wa, oh no. So do not, <laughs> this is dame for you. <laughs> just like I should not say kui, that is dame for me.、Uh, that, that's food, very masculine food. What about the hora asoko? What does that mean? Hora asoko. So, like, hey, over there. Or exactly. Look over there. Look over there. And what does the brother respond with? Ah,、uh, ah, honto ni. Or honto do. Honto da. Same thing. It's like, oh. Oh, you're right. It's like, yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't lie to me. Nice. Okay. Now let's read this guy.、Uh, toiri no. Toiri no? Yes. Toiri no. Toru. Tori. Tori no. Muko ni mieru. Mitori or midori ru. Midori ro. No. I forgot that. Ah,、uh, what was it? Haven't seen this katakana in a long time. Ah,、uh, ah, po. Yep. Pochi no. Data. Data.、Uh, Shiroi. Tuita. 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 Oh, it's a big. Okay, yeah. Tuita. Shiroi ie ga soda. So, right here, they're using ie. Do you remember ie meant?、Uh, house or dwelling. Yes. So, before they used uchi, because it was their house. They're like, oh, look, it's our uchi. But this is not their uchi. This is ie. So, we know we're talking about someone else's house right now. And what color is this house?、Mm, orange. Oh, no, that's gas.、Uh, bochi no. Nope. Bochi. The color of the house is white.、Oh, <laughs> shiroi. White. Shiroi. Yeah. Yes. However, something is suitad to the house. Do you know what suita means? It's from tsuku. Tsuku? That is the verb. This is the, the kanji. Tuita.、Oh, I think that tuita is a pochi. pochi.、Oh, this is porch. In case you're wondering. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. For lunch. And it's Suita. Chuitad. What do you think Suita means? Like glued to or attached to? Yes, attached to. So there is a porch attached to a white house. What color is that porch? It is Midori, so green. Exactly. So they can miedu a Midori iro no porch no tuita shiroi ie. What does this part mean? Mieru. So they can see a green porch which is connected to a white house. Exactly. Perfect. Um, do you know what tori means? Tori means a bird. That's a good guess. That's tori. Very tori. fast. Tori, tori. This is tori. And this means like stream and has like 5,000 meanings, but I'm guessing oh. street in this context. Like it'll be like street, alleyway, all the way. Oh, it's too many. Uh, how about muko? Do you know what that means? We saw it way when we we're talking about the sun was setting and stuff. Mm. It was like mm. opposite direction. Yeah. I remember. So across the street, he's able to see, it seems, to be a white house with a green porch. Interesting. Mm. And then we have this sentence to read. Uh, tonari, uh, tonari no ie de. I saw the kanji. I was like, isn't that dog? This is a namae. Henry to you inu. Henry. So the name basically. Henry. Chisaku mi yu. Yeah. Do you know what tonari means? Tonari no ie. Tonari. That sounds familiar. Tonari. Tonari is a pretty uh, commonly taught word. I also have not really seen that very often in <laughs> my, my experience in reading Japanese. Um, so we have an ie. And there's another ie. So that's why they're using tonari and not uh, chikai or something. Ah, oh, means close. It does. It, it means next to. And it's used mm. for similar objects. Uh, for example, there was an anime called Tonari no Kaibutsukun, which is like, was the girl talking about her classmate next to her, how he was like a monster. <laughs> but they used Tonari huh. to let you know he actually was human, kind of, because they're the same kind of creature. But she called him... <laughs> So it was like a joke in that way. Tonari no kaibutsukun. So tonari is very common in um, school life anime titles to be like the person sitting next to me in class. Mm. That ningen. So it's used for similar things. So right here, ie and ie. So next to the white house is this house. What does it look next like? To. I don't know, but it's next to. And there mm. we have a katteiru inu. What does that mean? Mm. So, katteiru means to own, to be in the process of being a pet. So, it's a dog that is being owned currently owned. by the owner, by, by the house owner, basically. So, the house next door has a dog, is how mm. we say it in English. We would not say, it is being under oh, a dog. in Japan, the, in Japanese, they have a specific word for owning a dog. We do not have that in English. We just say he has a dog. The dog's name is Henry. Henry. Um, what does chisaku mieru mean then? Chisaku mieru. You can see it, but it's like very small or exactly. just exactly perfect. So why don't you go from the very top and tell me what all of this means? Huh. Oh, all right. Um, Toyri no Muko. So, the opposite direction, mm -hmm. we have a across tori. The, so they're over across the street in the tree, and they're like, okay, across the street. Across the street, they see a green porch which is connected to a house. Mm -hmm. So, that's like definitely which is connected to, or not connected to, which is right next to 
a house which owns a dog. Yeah. So a dog, they see a dog in a yeah. house named Henry yeah. and it's very small. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> um, and we'll be stopping here for now. It is, I think, right when we manage to get the computers to start working. So I will <laughs> stop the recording.